Hello, grammarians. Hello, Paige. Hi, David. So today we're going to tackle this idea of what is a sentence as we go into this realm of language that is called syntax. And syntax is this concept of basically grammatical order. What this this word syntaxis literally means in Greek is, uh, you know, putting together uh, and arranging, right? So it just means ordering of language. So that's like what a sentence is. That's what a sentence is. That's what a sentence is. It's what the components of a sentence are. And we'll go into all of that in much greater detail. But in order to do that, first of all, we have to figure out what a sentence actually is. So the the definition that you and I came up with, Paige, is that a sentence is a grammatically complete idea. Right. It's a bunch of words that say one, one complete thing. So all sentences have a noun or pronoun component, mm-hmm. right? And that's what we call the subject. And then we have the verb part, which is the the predicate. So a sentence has, it has to have like a thing or a noun or pronoun. Sure, that's the subject. Yeah, and and something that it's doing. Sure, that's the predicate. Yeah. Okay, so let's say we've got this sentence, the great big dog licked my face. Here is our sentence. What is the subject? Subject is the great big dog. All right. And that means that everything that's not the subject is part of the predicate, right? Mm Mm-hmm. So licked my face is the predicate. So this is the noun chunk uh, that is performing the action of the sentence. You got it. Cool. So all sentences have to have this, right? Yeah, they have to have a subject and a predicate, these two separate parts. So if you said, if you asked a question like, are you named David? Okay. If you asked that of me, Mm -hmm. which, go ahead. Are you named David? I am. Is this a sentence? It's really short. It is very short, but you see I is a pronoun. Okay. So that can be the subject. That's our subject. And am is a verb. So it has a subject and a predicate. So this is the noun or pronoun part. And this is the action that it is performing. Although am or being isn't really an action. It's, it's more of a linking verb. Sure. Um, but it's still a verb. That's okay. Right. So this is, this is the predicate then for sure. Yeah. Okay. So, but Paige, let's say I dropped a muffin. Right. Uh, and you told me, pick up that muffin. Uh-huh. That sentence doesn't seem to have, so let me write that down. That sentence doesn't seem to have a subject. I see how all of this is predicate. Right. Pick up is a verb. And then... And then the muffin is the thing that's being picked up. Like, that's all one thing. Where's... What goes in the blue box? I see. So when we have a sentence like this where I'm telling you to do something, Mm -hmm. there doesn't always have to be a subject said out loud. Okay. This is this is like an order, right? I'm telling you, you have to pick up that muffin. So this is kind of like an invisible secret subject. Right. And the subject really is you. Okay. You pick up that muffin. But I don't have to say it out loud. Because I know that you're talking to me. Because I can tell because you're looking at me and you're yelling at me about a muffin. Yes, I am. So a sentence is a grammatically complete idea or expression. Mm-hmm. And it has to have... A noun or pronoun part, which we call the subject, and it has to have a verb and all its baggage part, which is what we call the predicate. Uh, And sometimes that subject can sort of be implied or invisible, as in the command, pick up that muffin. Right. Cool. You can learn anything. David out. Page out.